from the first bad boy events, we made an oath and a pact that we had never let none of this stuff intertwine our brotherhood. Our mothers, rest in peace to Sheik's moms. Our moms know each other. Our moms go out for dinner and drink wine and pray together. And we wow. about to go on family vacation. Luch family, my family, P. We real brothers. If we never made a record today and Styles needed 100000 or whatever he needed, he could call me and get in. It won't be on Twitter or TMZ or... And that's just how it is. Collectives and crews and he things like that. He was always the transmission. You know, he was the one-man <laughs> yeah. army, the firm formulated. He was the transmission. Brave hearts. Brave hearts. Yep. Nation. He give you a try. Dude from VA. Quan. <laughs> yeah. Give you, Yo, give you a shot. Get back. Trey Definitely. Williams. Definitely. He, give you, he give you a shot. Well, thing, that's not for everybody. Exactly. Everybody don't get that. So it comes with the game. Because you expect everybody to keep it real, but sometimes people sleep. And you be like, damn, you were sleeping on me too? Facts. Like that? He yeah. summed it up perfectly. I know he can attest to that because he's been in that same moment. Even in the latter years of his career, all the bunch of success on the business tip doing all that, I'm sure he's getting calls and people want to do brunches and stuff. It's part of the game. Hey, yo, what's the deal, fam? You check this out. You're Joey Badass. I'm proud of you, fam. Joey Badass 2000. This album is high quality. High quality. I won't sit here and proclaim to be the biggest Joey Badass fan the world has ever known. But I can tell you one thing that I've always respected. His approach and authenticity and this album speaks to that, no lie. And, and what I love about him throughout the entire uh, course of his career is that he never gets too far away from himself. Now, what do I mean by that? Any sound that he's willing to uh, attack or even try, it never seems forced. Like, you can even go back to, what, 2017 with Devastated. It was a different sound for him, but he made it his own. He never comes across as a shark, someone who bites. He always allows the sound or whatever he's attempting to do fit his lane or the idea that he has typically comes to fruition. And you got to respect that um, from artists. I truly have to respect that. With regards to his air and production on this album, A1. Young Guru on the boards. I believe he makes the album. I love the fact that he sticks to um, what works. I love the way he stays in pocket with those he has chemistry with, right? Chemistry is a big thing, especially when you're putting out a full-length LP. Because albums matter. Don't let these individuals talk you out of that. I know we've been in a single era for quite some time. But when you're an artist like Joey Badass who is about legacy, you can tell just by the moves he's made throughout the course of his career. Albums matter. And this particular release shows me that he knows that and understands it. And he makes it his life mission to make sure that he puts out quality work. The album is mature. Like, it's honest hip-hop with live instrumentation. Like, I love how the piano plays, like, a pivotal role uh, within the album, kind of like a, a glue for lack of a better term, like it, it pieces everything together from track to track because there's a lot of like outros um, at the end of each track where he has like narration and um, it just grabs you in so many different ways. Right? It has everything. He's, he's spitting on it. You got the live instrumentation and then you have surprise narration by individuals who mean something to him. Like this is art, right? So if I can't convey it in some way, I'll have those that I look up to or someone that means something to me musically speak on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? I love what he's doing with this album, what he did with this album. It, it, it's, it's, it's rewarding as a fan. And I can sit here and tell you all that I feel like hip hop is in great hands with individuals like Joey Badass because dude gets it. Wisdom. I love what Nye said at the end of Cruise Control when he said, um, 
This man has age on him like he's been here before. Yet, he's a young king. That speaks volumes, man. And that's what I'm trying to convey. Although this just is a reaction video. This is not an album breakdown from song to song. Because I only sat with it since midnight yesterday, right? Or midnight today. But I've been playing it nonstop. And it's such a great feeling attached to the work. It's so rewarding. It's so, it's uplifting. It's, it has its peaks and valleys, ebbs and flows. You have songs like Cruise Control that the, the hook is so inviting, right? Like it's in company with production that's so heartfelt. And that's what music is all about. It grabs the listeners. But then you have a song like um, one of my favorites on here, Head High. Kept it simple, but his pocket was perfection personified on that. Within the flow, excuse me, within the verse and the hook. He knew when to get complex and he also understood the mission on when he should just keep it simple. That's, you can actually, we're witnessing the maturation process of Joey Badass. Like, go out and go get 2000. Cop it. Vinyl, if you can get a hand on a CD, cop it. Don't just stream it. I'm copping this. What I can get my hands on, I don't know if it's available for pre-order or what have you. But I'm going to cop something physical because this is a great body of work, man. My favorite tracks off of this album, 2000 by Joey Badass, would be, in no particular order, Cruise Control, Where I Belong. I love the simplistic sample, but it is mixed in such a way and filtered in such a way that it seems much bigger than it really is. And the way he approached it, like, it just goes to show you that you don't always have to overdo it, right? You don't have to pull out all the bells and whistles and all the tricks in each track. It could still work. That proves that um, Zip Codes is fire. Show me. Um, what did he say? I never knew a love that wasn't painless. Pouring out my heart was always draining. Like, just, like, mature lines, simple things that you just catch. Like, oh, I've been there before. Like, yeah, that, that's real, man. Like, and it takes an individual who's confident or comfortable with himself to share things like that, right? Wanna be loved, J.I.D. was going crazy. He went crazy on that, that feature. I love the guitar chords on that too. Like, it's the little things, the little things, how you layer things. Like, a sample is cool. You can have a phenomenal sample, but you can just have someone come in and just play just a little piece of something to layer it. And it just brings a whole different emotion to the track. Man, I thought that was pretty dope. I previously mentioned Head High. Um, that's pretty dope. I was speaking on his pocket with the, the flow within the hook and, and the verses was pretty dope. Survivor's Guilt will probably be something that touches everyone. But it doesn't mean that I shouldn't speak on it. It's heartfelt, man. And it's not something that's easy to speak about. A lot of people will probably say, or some individuals will probably ask, why he takes so long to even address these things? Because timing is everything. It's about when he was willing and able and comfortable with sharing these things. Because with success comes a lot of responsibility. People forget about that, man. Like, we can all have opinions about bodies of work. And what we like, what we deem to be classics, what was a flop. But let's not all, never get away from the fact that artists are carrying things that we can't even fathom sometimes. You know, it's a lot of pressure that comes along with success and failure. So try to be um, mindful of those things as well. But Survivor's Guilt is a, ph a phenomenal song. Like, you should just go listen to it. If you haven't done so, do it. Um... It's amazing how things have changed, right? Like, that's what the first thing that came to mind, like, when he was just spitting lines, like, you know the truth about Stilo, he lacked the mental health. But try to tell that to people way back in 2012. And it got me to thinking, like, wow, we have come a long way as a society when you can actually speak on mental health now and people are receptive to the conversation and they hear you out. But go back 10 years no one would really, how, how did they deal with that? It's amazing, like, just listening to that song and um, 10 years later, how the world has changed, as I previously stated, right? At that time, I'm pretty sure that many people didn't, weren't really um, sensitive to the subject or they didn't take it serious in that sense, right? 
And this is something he had to carry for quite some time. And now he's in the space where he can actually speak about it because society has changed with regards to that. Things, it hasn't changed 100%, but the focus on how real and true it is can no longer be denied. So shout out to um, Joey Badass, man. 2000 is a phenomenal piece of work, man. I'm proud. I'm proud to, to state that I've listened to it. And I'm going to continue to listen to it. And um, you've done a great thing. I'm, I'm just looking forward to continuing this journey with you because the maturation process is it's evident. It, it's evident. It's evident. Kudos to you, man. Congratulations. And uh, to all you out there, let me know your favorite track um, from 2000. And um, how you feel about the album as a whole. And uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and go get yours. Yeah.